Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I would like to introduce you to GeoMap. So the GeoMap stack makes it super easy to add maps and get geographic uh, GPS data from your users super easy. So as you see in this demo, we have both satellite views and a normal map view. And these maps are completely interactive. So you can go ahead and zoom in and zoom out, um, get information about the location, so on and so forth. Now the map swap feature, a part of GeoMap, allows you to actually create buttons or links that actually change the location of the map. So you see here, I clicked on the London button and the map here changed to London. And if I click on Rio de Janeiro, guess what? The map will change to Rio de Janeiro. And the last stack a part of GeoMap allows you to get GPS data from your actual users. So in this example, I'm actually, I have my map hidden by default. And then when I, when I click get location, the browser is going to ask me if I want to allow it to get my location. And I'm going to say allow. And what we'll notice here is that it gets the GPS data from the device. In this case, my Mac, but it could be your iPhone or Android. Um, it will display that location on a map. And optionally, if we need to use this inside of a form, it will actually populate longitude and latitude data with the GPS uh, form data. So let's see how simple it is to actually implement these stacks. So as you'll see inside the stacks library, uh, there are three different stacks that we can utilize uh, within this set right now. Now the geo map stack is what actually displays the map. And as you might expect, we can by default display a static map. And as I said, we have two styles. We have map and satellite. You can then change your zoom level, choose the dimensions, and then easily choose either an address or you can put in exact GPS coordinates uh, for the location that would be displayed by default on page load. Now, in order to do the map swapping, uh, we need to set the GeoMap stack to actually use update via GeoSwap. Now, if we want, we can actually define a default location that will display on page load, or if we delete this, it'll actually not display any map until one of the GeoSwap buttons are clicked. So if we look at the GeoSwap stack, if you look here, um, it's super simple. All we need to do is define either an address or GPS coordinates that when any button or link that is added within it is clicked, those that actual location or GPS data will be populated into the map. And as you see in this example, I just have multiple GeoSwap stacks um, with as many locations as you want to have. And last but not least, in order to get the GPS data uh, from our users, we're gonna use the GeoMap stack. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that to be upload via GeoLoad. Um, and in this case, I don't want any map to be displayed by default. So I'm gonna set it to GPS and delete that data. So then no map will be displayed on page load. And then inside the geo load stack, here I have my button, my get location button added into it. I simply define, um, do I want it to actually get the GPS data on button click? Or do we actually want to have this happen on page load? So you can have it so the user is prompted immediately on page load to supply their GPS location data. So then we can gather that information and populate the map. And optionally, you can actually update a form field. So um, if you like, you can actually click on this to find the name of the form fields that you want. Use whatever form stacks that you're using and make sure that the names match up within GeoLoad. Now, GeoLoad will by default actually uh, create hidden form fields for um, longitude and latitude. Um, so if you just want that data submitted with your form, you actually don't need to add any form fields. But if you would like them to be actually be displayed to the end user, you would then use your favorite form stacks here. I'm using foundation six forms uh, to actually display that data to the end user. As you see, GeoMap is super easy to use, right? It couldn't really be any easier. You just put in the GPS data that you want or location data. Um, you can swap it out. You can load it from the end user, right? All kinds of really interesting um, you know, features that we hadn't had from a lot of other map stacks. So I hope you enjoy this. Oh, another selling feature, no API keys at all, right? As you saw, I didn't have to go and generate any accounts or API keys in order to get these maps working. There is no like monthly hit limit that you have to then pay after that, right? 
that is the beauty of this. I worked quite a long time on finding a map service um, that's based on OpenStreetMap that doesn't require us to have an API key or you know that re also requires us to pay out money every month if we go over 10 or 15,000 views, right? So this is a really great, simple solution, really elegant, beautiful looking maps as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Take care, bye.